I'm just coming up. Catch it. Oh, hey, did we see that? Boom, right there. Right? And if you're like Tyson, you hit, boom, right back up. And you got elbow strength as well. Six techniques that you should have as well. This is another part of it. This is when you're having the close interview. Okay, so general rule, if I have distance and somebody's coming towards me, I always want to step off the line, face the same way, and the best way if I have any distance is a swing step. So I swing, turn, my foot goes behind, I follow and I track him with my lead foot. So if he's coming in, I can go either way, boom, here, as he's turning, looking for that big one or looking for your big kick. Yep. If I'm close and we got this interview here, now here's the thing you gotta watch. Look where my foot is. If he's in his stance, anywhere where I'm inside his foot. So my feet are inside in any way, okay? Both feet are inside his feet. He should always swing step. If he's there and my foot gets outside and he swing steps, he gives me his back. Mm -hmm. So here is one of my favorite street ones, if you guys don't already know it. If I'm here and I see him load that fist, there's the check hook right there. Mm -hmm. So if I'm coming here, it's what we did here is that same thing. We're not using that. We could come around, boom, there's that check hook. Mm -hmm. And then we follow, we're back into our bridging. So mm -hmm. if I'm here and my foot's outside here, you can see that going that way is going to give you problems. Yes, that's right. right. Yep, yep. So this one is a forward pivot. As that foot lands, so does that punch. Now, when you get this one, this is where a lot of people make mistakes. You really want to throw that over top because there's shoulders there, there's like guards. If you go over top and it hits my hand, it'll break my hand, okay? And you're lowering, so you, you're lowering your dip yourself too. Right. right there, I'm, I'm doing, Boom, I'm that's that, it. Yeah. But you want to swim it over their over shoulder. shoulder. Boom. Oh, 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 you got it. Got it. Good, nobody get off camera now. And a good yeah. drill for this is as I go here, I try to touch that shoulder. He wants that shoulder. See how he's leaning in? Mm -hmm. That shoulder needs to get out of the way. So when he steps, boom. So it's different than the standard punch, ah, right? Yeah. So it's immediate bang. There it is. And even worse for me, if you've seen uh, Snatch back in the day, this is the one that Brad Pitt got hit by. <laughs> so if I went here and he moves, boom. That's over. Boom. That's where you go. He put himself top. right in the place. Oh. So that guy that throws that right punch, if you got your foot there, you just walk for it, boom, and you it's just over. just move out of the way. Huh? Now, like. if I'm in here and I have somebody that's really being threatened, there's only four punches that you really need to know. First one is if I'm staying here, the key is wherever they are, however their hands are, I want to move out of where their elbows could reach me. If I move my head, we use sort of a swimming overhand. Mm -hmm. So that's swimming. I want my body, my head to be hidden just under. First, I'm going to step off the line. And this is what we call straight right across is what comes across into the center. Straight right is when my shoulder comes out and it's right in line with my target. And I throw it straight down that line. So as I'm coming here, I'm like, oh, I don't want a problem. Don't reload. You just go from here. First one, boom, right in that solar plexus, yes. right? So if he's here and he drops out right into that solar plexus, he wants to be moving his head out there. And of course, a swing step off of that is just beautiful. And look at that, you're just lined up to destroy me. What? <laughs> yeah. Ah, so he's yeah. here, no problem. A passive aggressive stance is good. It's sort of your hands up, you're leaning back off the line right here so that if any cameras are watching, it's looking like I don't want to fight, um, right? Yeah. I don't want to like fight. I, I want to keep the hands sort of low. I don't want to be up here because I look like a Muay Thai. So kind of like you're pushing them away. If you're outside at CCTV, one of my old things is like, they can't hear the auditory. If you want to make a fight, I'll be like, I don't want to fight because I'll win. And then he has to throw. <laughs> and that's where, <laughs> so if you're threatened, he throws that solar plexus one. Beautiful. The next version of that is going high. So as he's here, he's going to go from here and same, I'm diving my head out and I'm laying this punch hang. So a lot of people that don't know, they're gonna watch where this head's going. I'm gonna let this hang. I'm looking at the angle of that jaw. Boom, right through. Mm. Dropping your weight, this lands where my foot lands. Mm. And again, he's always off that lead foot. Boom, give you that nice mm. swing step mm. follow up. Mm. 
so he's here, sees me, throw that overhand, let your head, your head drop, boom. So really step, so, oh, so, so you want to get your head past anything where my elbow would be. So, so you're like driving, good, and then you swing, boom, and then big one, bam. Very nice. Two. The other one is, I can act like I don't want something. So I start to move off, shovel punch oh, right into yeah. that rear. That's your liver shot. Every boxer will tell you. These ones here mm -hmm. and here, this one's gonna drive them back, this one's gonna knock them back. If you hit a good liver shot here, now when I'm doing it, let me show you on this side, okay? So if I'm doing it, this is the right hand, but same principle, okay, this is spleen. But the idea is, I don't wanna hit this way. This is four ribs right here. I wanna hit, palm up, I wanna scoop at the base of the ribs and a little bit of an upward cut and shock at the end of it. So if I'm doing it, left hand hits the liver. So if you just remember the left hand. So if I'm here, okay, he's talking, he may be like confronting me, I'm like, hey, but dude, I don't want a problem. I can be like, just turn away and then quickly as I turn away, I don't cock, I just boom, right there, okay? If you're like Tyson, you hit, boom, and right back up, and you got elbow strikes as well. So that good, shovel good. punch right there, if he just sort of leans off like he's gonna walk away, but he takes that first step, boom, that's it. That's it, right up under there. Yeah. This punch doesn't drive the person back. This is the punch where you see guys, and if you've ever watched fighting, the guy that goes down forward doesn't get back up. If he gets back up, it's maybe one more series, but he's going down. I don't care 13. how big you think you are, the liver will shut down. The body has to respond. It's almost like when you sneeze, yep. you have to close your eyes. It's that same response. You hit that liver, you got to shut down. Right. People can try to fight it. You see guys, the fighters, they go this, but you still like. They have nothing. Oh, yeah. You just need one more touch. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's yeah. awesome, man. I love yeah. that liver. And the sixth one, or last one, so we had the solar plexus, we had the overhand, yeah. right? We had those first two, the swing step and the catch hook. Yep. And the last one is if I'm inside close, it's just this short one, which is for my boxers, I had 50 kids and 10 kids that we had that we put in with a boxing team. And so this punch, it's not a hook, it's not an uppercut, it's exactly between. So it's just from here, and I'm gonna step with it, and I'm gonna go boom, boom, catch that double hook. Wow. So I'm just coming up, catch it. Oh, I didn't even see that. The two right there. See? I didn't see the so two. You're, so if you're in here, that's your lead hand. This is the lead hand. So he's in. He's and just drop, boom. And you just want it to come up almost, you barely even have to lift this elbow up. It's, you see, it's right on. Now, the first part hits here. Second part snaps the elbow over top. Oh, so it's a. Boom. boom. There it is. Ah, and it's that loose. effect where it goes boom, and my chin comes back. That's boom, boom, boom. If, I'm, if I have a tense neck, out. That's that's the punch. Even if you're doing it as a floating one. I'm at the ball that if, one. If I go here and I dip here, the hard this comes sort of on sword fighting. The hardest point for him to like be able to block is these angles. So if I get inside that elbow, mm. that right there, if I go here, I cut inside mm. short. Mm. It's a really nice. And I can use that body. Anybody's dug in, boom, pa. Mm, right it's over. Whip. It's almost like you're whipping yep. the elbow. It's called, they're called floating punches. Ah. Uh, you'll see them a lot in Sistema and stuff like that. So that's like an elbow. Yeah. So like, man. Keep your elbow against your body and just let it cock open and just slap like your knuckles go loose. Boom, boom. That's it. Mm. Over. Over. All right, guys. So we'll bring a bunch of videos to you. Next one, what we'll do is talk about that guy that's coming up and gaining your face. So learning how to control this positioning and what you can do from here so that you can take him into control and do whatever you need to do. Yeah. All right, so keep with us, give us some feedback. Don't forget to check out his channel, which yep. is? High Speed Fight Lab. And, and it'll be H right here. H-I Speed Fight Lab. High Speed Fight Lab. Yep. Do you have a website? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, everything, not everything on there right now, for now. But. I'm building a website. We have self-defense in San Diego. Yep, yep. We've got All some right. courses coming too. Check out. Okay. And this is for everybody.